Hello ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Westeros Total War. It's a complete conversion mod of Medieval 2 Total War, and it's a mod that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. I'd just like to give you guys a quick review of the game, and an overhaul of what it's based on when it starts, and for fans of the HBO series, give you a quick rundown of about when the time of the uh, mod is set at. And I'll give you some more information as much as I can in the short amount of time that I'm planning to do this video in, hopefully. I have no promises on that. But without further talking, uh, let's get this started. As I was saying, I've been looking forward to this mod for quite some time. It is based off the uh, book, book series, the uh, Song of Ice and Fire, along with the uh, HBO series A Game of Thrones, which some of you may or may not have heard of. If you haven't seen the HBO series or read the books, I recommend you go do them both. They are Books are excellent to read, and I am not really a book person myself, but I couldn't stop reading them for the love of me. I recommend the books, the HBO series, they're both awesome. Uh, we have all, all the uh, house factions here. House, house Lannister, Tully, Greyjoy, Renly, Joffrey, Tyrell, Stark, Martell, Stannis, and House Aaron. Don't bother about the difficulty for this. We're not going to be doing combat. You guys know the basic overlay of what Medieval 2 Total Combat is, so we'll get this started. I will be leaving a link in the description, multiple ones actually, uh, to download this mod and the actual main page as well for the forums for the uh, developers of the mob, uh, the mod, so that you can look up pictures and other things. As you can see, we've started off as House Aaron because we're in the middle, and I just wanted to show you. It's the perfect faction that's to give you a clear view of exactly where we are in the HBO series or in the books in a set amount of time. Now, I would like to point out before I go any further that this is an alpha build, and there is going to be a lot of bugs. Nothing is 100% complete, and nothing is certain. There is going to be a lot of up up uh, upgrades to the game when the full version comes out. If you go to the link in the description to the main website, you'll see a lot of the uh, changes in the screenshots, and mini previews, and developer chat, and blah blah blah, etc. I highly recommend you go there and check it out. But once again, alpha build, there's a lot of bugs, there's a lot of glitches, I'm just here to show you the overall uh, view of the game, overall view of the mod, and recommend it, because uh, I'm really looking forward to when they finally get this done. So, without me uh, yabbering on any further, that's uh, for the purposes of this mod, I shall take off Fog of War to show you guys around. Uh, HBO lovers and the uh, people that have read the book series, like me, will know exactly where we are. Uh, and I'll do a quick pan over and this detailed description, or detailed-ish description of every area of the map. House Aaron, which is in the airy, uh, the section that we are in now on the screen, is to the east, uh, sort uh, kind of in the middle of uh, the island of Westeros. Uh, they control these lands here. To the west, we have the Riverlands, which are controlled by House Tully. As you can see, uh, at this point, you have Sir Gregor Kerglane in the Riverlands, raiding and pillaging. I would just like to point out as well, over here, I missed out, forgot about it, that we have Tywin Lannister, who is currently a prisoner at the Ares, which gives away a very detailed bit of exactly where we are in the timeline of Westeros Total War, if you've seen the HBO series or the books. And as you know, the Ares is uh, rather neutral on the war. They don't really do much. And currently the AI is a bit dodgy, so it doesn't... The the Arons don't really suit to their ne neutrality at the moment. They sort of attack and destroy everybody. But, yeah. Uh, over here you have the Lannisters, as you can see, are getting ready to attack. You've got Tywin, Lord of Castle Rock. As you can see, uh, each unique character has his own character frame. And in the full version of the game, I believe, they're all going to have their own unique skins. And each king of Westeros is going to have his own unique crown. Uh, I think Jamie Lannister, who is, I believe, uh, where is he? 
Jamie Lannister should be around here somewhere. There. No. There. No. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure where Jamie Lannister is. Um, the last build I checked, he was... He might be in one of the cities. I'm not entirely sure. I personally think he should be with the Joffrey faction, which I'll show you in a moment. But for now... We will uh, pan over to the Greyjoy Islands, which are over here. I believe these islands should be a bit bigger in the main build of the game. But ho hopefully it will be like that. I myself like to build my armies before I charge in. As you can see you've got Aaron Greyjoy, or the Crow Eye, Crow's Eye, whatever you want to call him. Dagmir, you have uh, the Turn Cloak. HBO lovers and the uh, readers of the book series will know who he is. I won't give. I never think. I do not want everybody uh, screaming at me for not giving away too much information or whatever. I don't want to give away too much spoilers. This is to recommend the game, I recommend the HBO series, and recommend the books. It's all awesome, and I don't want to ruin it for anybody. If you guys have seen it all, you know what happened. Keep it to yourself. It's perfectly fine. Try not to reveal too many spoilers in the comments, please. We don't want to ruin everybody else's experience. Anyway, continuing on. Up north, we have the uh, House Stark, who controls all of the north. Or at least should. I'm not quite sure why there are rebel towns. Over here, you've got the Castellan of uh, Winterfell. And as you can see over here... Actually, we'll, we'll return to this in a minute. Uh, if we go up north, as you can see, that at the moment, there is no wall. The uh, landmass ends here. Uh, it's confirmed that in the complete and utterly finished version of the game, the uh, there will be a wall and a night watch a night watch faction. It is playable, I believe. Whether or not you have Jon Snow in it, I, I'm pretty sure it does. At this point in the HBO series and the timeline, Jon Snow has already gone to the wall. And I believe you can go north of the wall as well, which should be quite interesting, especially fighting the wi uh, wildlings as the night's watch, which should be quite good. Uh, the Dreadfort is currently Rebels, along with Car Hold. I'm not quite sure how they're going to do that, whether or not they're going to be working on a loyalty system so that the uh, Boltons can... the Boltons or other factions can um, separate from the Starks, uh, depending on the loyalty or executions or things that... Maybe, as you can see down here, uh, Rob Stark, Lord of Winterfell, has called his bannermen and he's heading south to free his father. Damn it, I just gave away a spoiler. Ignore that part. <laughs> He's heading down to the twins. In the full version, there is going to be two twins. One on the left, one on the right of the bridge. And that contains World of Frey. Uh, as far as I know, at least, and what I've been told and what I've looked up so far, all characters and all factions and all units will have their own unique skin. They're going to be completely done. This is a complete and utter conversion mod. And it looks excellent so far. You go down here, you've got the rest of the Lannister lands. Down here, you've got uh, Tyrell. And I believe High Garden. William. And you've got uh, Mace Rondell in there, Tyrell in there. There's the Arrow. Over here, you've got uh, Martell. And Sunspear is way over here. Unfortunately, I can't show you the character portraits for these generals, but I assure you they've all been customized and most of their skins have been changed. The ones that have the same skins or the things that aren't in the same places or in the right places, they're all going to be changed and all going to be updated when the full game makes it. Over here you've got the Stormlands, this is Renly. I believe, yep, Renly, Lord of Storms End. Uh, I assume they're going to change that title. He's actually the king he actually claims himself king of Westeros, so I, I don't know how they're going to work around that. Uh, uh, there is an aspect of the game that once you get so much cash, or so much loyalty, or so much aspect, uh, once you're through the game a bit, you have the option to declare yourself a kingship. And it will automatically give you the, uh, the crown that represents your faction and your allegiances will change and your victory conditions will change. Not to mention the du uh, kingly duties that come with being a king, etc, etc, but there's not a lot known about those just yet. 
which should be pretty good. Over here you've got King's Landing, which doesn't particularly look like King's Landing at the moment. I hope they change the uh, textures for that, but they've changed everything else, and they're planning on changing a lot more. So, it's, not, it's actually a recent picture of Sir, uh, or the Hound, or the Mountain, or I can't remember what one's that. I think this is the Mountain. You've got Tommen here. Once again, it's using a default uh, portrait. I'm sure that, 100% sure that will be changed eventually. Over here you have Dragonstone, which has, uh, I think Stannis is currently inside Dragonstone, and unfortunately I can't show you him. At the moment, this mod does have a slight problem with currency, and you will lose money regularly. Depending on which faction, obviously. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, I believe when you start off as Eren, if we go to our... Yes. Robert, who is the sickly boy. His father, uh, John Aaron, has died. Uh, died peacefully, apparently. Uh, yes. You see some of the uh, dismounted knights and description of the come, description of the come, description of the come, all that. There is still quite a bit of work to do and they're working quite hard. They have quite a few updates on the game. And overall I've been waiting for this game for, or this mod at least, for quite a while now and i really looking forward to after the recent uh, failure of Game of Thrones Genesis. I would also like to talk about a upcoming mod, uh, upcoming RPG game actually, which involves, uh, I think it's made by the same people that made Genesis, I know, eesh, but uh, still a bit of hope for it I guess. Uh, I will leave a description to that in the uh, video as well, so I hope you guys check that out. I would give you some combat and maybe a campaign playthrough at time, uh, point in time. Uh, that's all up to you guys, whether or not you want me to uh, play as a certain faction or you just don't like, the, don't like the idea of it whatsoever. Let me know in the comments. Uh, the more guys that like it and the more guys that sub, uh, I'm perfectly willing to bow to your every demand and do whatever game you ask of me. And whatever faction you ask of me to play for. And pretty much just be a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I totally recommend this mod. It may just be in the alpha version at the moment, but it's still very fun. Especially if you're a fan of the HBO series or the book series. And once again, if you haven't seen the HBO series or you haven't read the books, I recommend you get them both. The books may cost a bit, a total, but it's totally worth it. You, even if you don't read books a lot like me, once you get into it, and once you read a couple of pages, you'll find that it's 5 o'clock in the bloody morning, and you've just read about 300 pages of the damn thing. It's incredibly addicting. You'll find yourself, ha you'll find yourself halfway through despising character, and every time you turn the page, wishing that that bastard would die. <laughs> it's very gripping, and the way the guy tells the stories is just brilliant. For once, I'd, I'd really, really recommend that you guys buy it if you haven't already seen it. Uh, the new HBO series actually is coming out in uh, next April, April the 1st, I believe. So keep an eye out for that as well. I don't have a official release date, and I don't think there is one for the uh, complete and uh, finished like uh, 1.0 version of the mod just yet. It's been in construction for some time, and I think they're still looking for more people to help them out. So yeah, if any of you guys have modding experience and some free time, go over to their website, uh, go into the forums, talk to them, see what they need. I know their guys have uh, been asking for help for quite a while with coders and scripters and everything else. Uh, they have quite a lot of other things on their plate to be doing, and I know they can't spend 24 hours doing the mods all the time. But they're doing the best they can, and they're working really well at it. So, I think, uh, without boring you guys with my panning across the screen much more... I'll leave you with saying that uh, this mod, once made, should be really good, especially if you're a fan of the series. It also leads it to open possibilities along the lines of going over here and taking ships to the... I I, the name of the place is completely abandoned my knowledge, but pretty much you've got Westeros here, and then to the east you've got a large section of, like, desert-y, harder like... Uh, Places like Bravos and where the place 
the um, places where the Targaryens fled to after Robert's um, rebellion. Speaking of that, they're also thinking of doing a sub mod for Westeros Total War, but for Robert's rebellion. So it'd be pretty cool to face the uh, Targaryens, I think, especially the, since there should be dragons, or whether or not there were dragons in Robert's Rebelli rebellion. I'm, I'm, I think, I think there will be. Or whether or not the dragons were killed by them. I'm not entirely sure if he actually killed any dragons during the rebellion. But still, it should be quite interesting. Uh, I highly recommend you guys go over to the website, which will be in the description. I hope you guys like the mod. I hope you guys like my, f my videos and some, uh, subscribe and thumbs up. If you want me to do a playthrough of this, feel free to ask. And I hope you guys like the mod. Once again, everything is in the description. Check it out. And I'll see you guys around. Soul out.